karşı da. Let us not politicize this issue of our patients. We are here 
to uh, fulfill the promise that I made during the last show. This guy is also the leader of PR, the leader of Mavipindre. I'm not here for Mavipindre. I'm here to help. Vile ni kwa ni me promise apo behind. So for another forum, I'll be able to answer that. But for now, let's deal with the, the issue that has brought us here. Yeah. I have a question for you, considering you are a seasoned journalist. Okay. Actually, I was Obina's intern. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, Obina, um, borrowing from Kimani's lesson, are we as journalists in our line of work prone to mental health and substance abuse issues? Yes, because there's been, that, there's been that discussion that we are not really talking about. Yes. So, journalists are, uh, let me use the word high risk, uh, because of the work we do. We work under so much pressure. Like today morning, I think I posted this thing about 10 minutes to the time we're here. But I'm getting here, finding people at the gate. I'm like, oh, yo, okay. So that was too quick. That's too pressure. Then people expect you to deliver. And the journalist uh, life, uh, journalism life, we are, me and you are coming from, from radio and newspaper and TV. We know the pressure that was there from your bosses to everybody to deliver. And then sometimes the remuneration is not worth the whole hassle. Then also backlash online. People expect you to live a certain way. They forget that journalists are also just human beings. So sometimes, you know, when a man lacks purpose, they distract themselves with pleasure. So that's why you find, umevutu a job, ama una hassle, ama yuki ondo japatimeni report kufanya ni nini. What do you do? Unakunyo wapi wacha ni kikebezi. Unapiga jaba wapi wacha ni kikebezi. So we distract ourselves with pleasure. Then now, bad company, inendelea leo, Casual, then I depart on Meshaku addict, now Mesoya, and now that one leads into other things as well. So, journalist A1, and also we have other uh, careers as well, but because I'm a journalist, I'll talk about that one. joined the media industry when he was so young, eh? Yeah. Is age factor and exposure to that media kind of environment another risk factor? And how can that be addressed? No, age is not really a factor to be a journalist. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, I will talk about personal uh, self-esteem. Because we have journalists who started at a young age mm -hmm. and they never changed. We have ones who started at a very older age and they changed. Mm -hmm. It depends with the person, your personality, how strong is your personality. Mm -hmm. Then how weak are you as a person? Because we have people kuma beshako akisema leo tukitoka hapa tuni shire ataenda but kuna za mapana mimi na kuedit hizi whatever ni post so age is not really a factor but your friends the company then also your personal well-being your personality and your self-esteem there are people who want to fit in we we know the people have lost because nataka kufit in akina mwe shapa pia wewe unaingia kwa life yake nini umeenu umechukua it happens with many other people so age is not really a factor yes but what what i really want us to do and how we can help is to guide to guide mimi nimekono naenda leo na kwambia leo ni aje ni wrong ni aje btg ni hapa ni nini ni aje spm ni ni aje hapa change hapa hivi but pia wengine pia wasikie because naweza kwambia ndio lakini sikio la kufa now wish me back to you a bit yes. as governor part of the evolution was to democratize healthcare to mashinani oh. and that includes mental health we've not seen that happening there's a lot of uh, laxity, especially there are people who are traveling even all the way from very far places to this place just to access mental health services. What do you have to tell them? Because you might save Kimani today, oh. but there are a million other oh, Kimani. Kenyans yeah, yeah, yeah. out there oh. who also need services. Oh. And functionally speaking, devolution seems to have failed oh. Oh. Us oh. at this point. Actually, health is one of the sectors that was devolved. Like any, for instance, I'll talk about Nairobi County when I was the governor. I mean, like a very big rehabilitation center for City Park, we have one. There was one which was under construction. Actually, I forgot to mention Kwasi Oyako. Okay. A very big rehabilitation center, uh, RY, by, in, in Aendelea. We had one also in Makadara, or in Dagoreti. So we normally, to na, what to especially in Walevi, what we want the influence of drugs, we normally bring them together to our rehabilitation centers. We had our own psychiatrist from our uh, 
county hospitals on board Abuja every time, or at least uh, twice a day. The only people on board our visit to na, uh, uh, interact now wow, a lot. Even myself, I used to to, to visit those hospitals frequently. Like Chakula, Bogalia, I feel that from the front. So my appeal to the to your question, other governors should emulate that. We are fighting here on Fano, but I want to travel all the way from Mashinani to the Madare Hospital. Uh, and by doing so, we'll be decongesting this hospital because I'm sure there are so many patients kwa kwa hizi mawot. Kwa hivyo, uh, governors, Mashinani, wakirelea kwa gala hiyo mambo higini ya health care. For instance, do we see all governors of America maternity hospitals? And not only uh, mental, uh, ya, ya, ya mental health, but we have a lot of people unit in Mamalusi and, uh, and, 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 and Bagathi. We opened a renal unit there. We are doing dialysis. We did the first kidney transplant at, at, at uh, Bagathi when I was the, uh, the governor. However, well, health was devolved. Na, uh, devolution is like a gra uh, leadership like down to the grass, gra gra grassroots, not only in terms of health, in terms of all other factors, security and mambo mingi mingi, so that we give services to our people. Thank you very much. Hi, sasa tunaweza fanya kitu metuleta? Yes. Asanteni. Asanteni.